my lane fast, call it high speed I've been working hard, yeah, I've been working nightly If you think you'll win, ha, not fucking likely I be taking shots, yeah, cold-blooded, icy Watching numbers grow is what I call sightseeing In the front row, run it up when they hype me What's up, freaks? Welcome to Steve Says, episode number 120 120 of Steve Says this week, we're going to talk about something called weaponizing your weaknesses and what I call, it ties in together, my eight mile theory. We're going to get into that in a second. But first, let's just tell you about what Steve Says is all about. Steve Says is usually the shit that you need to hear, not necessarily what you want to hear, but what you need to hear. This on Steve Says, some people will hate, but most can relate. We are bringing the fucking fire every second of every second. Steve says it's a live show on how to have a no excuses, badass mindset, guiding you to adapt, overcome, and destroy the obstacles that are preventing your success in your health, your family, your finances, so you can stop being a little bitch, get your shit together, and start living life on your own freak freedom terms. We're focusing on the mind, the body, and the business, how to have a role model mindset, and how to operate to dominate with discipline, energy, confidence, action, and being your freak self. That's what this is all about. This is going to be real quick and dirty this week. We are talking about weaponize your weakness. One of my words of the year. Every year I give myself a few words of the year. This year, my theme of the year was to slow down. So this is the slow version of me, but it's slow down so that you can speed up. My words of the year, my words of the year, of course, were slow down, were weaponize, and then explode. So you slow down so you can weaponize every situation, turn everything, every pile of shit into a fucking pot of gold, turn a bad situation, a negative thing, something horrible into something positive, into something good and something of substance that you can use going forward. And that we've done things, we've done Steve Says shows more on that, uh, uh, turning obstacles into opportunities. We're going to go from a different approach this week about weaponizing your weaknesses. And then later on, we're going to go into the eight mile theory, which I've talked about again in the past, but it is worth speaking about again. First, all right, so first of all, how to weaponize your weakness? It starts with obviously up here, your approach, your perspective, your way of thinking, your operating system that you fucking download up here. So when shit goes sideways and you think there's no hope, you realize there's always motherfucking hope. And it starts with looking back. Looking back at, at, at the past, looking at the present and the future, and being fucking fine with all three of them, no matter what's happened, no matter what is happening, no matter what is going to happen, being fucking fine with any of those, whether they're known or unknown, whether they're certain or uncertain, being fine with them, and being fucking cool with it, and being ready to rock, being ready to fucking thrive when that shit is happening. Fuck just surviving, being ready to thrive no matter what happened in the past. No matter what's going on right now in the present, no matter what might possibly happen in the freaking future. That, that's what you need to think about. You need to have that mentality where it's, I don't give a fuck about the past, giving a shit about right now and not giving a fuck about what's about to happen, what you think is going to happen, what's going to happen in the future. And it starts with, let me, let me give you this, this Steve says freakingism right here about the past, about the present and about the freaking future. It starts with, don't be ashamed of who the fuck you were. Don't be sorry for who the fuck you are. And don't be afraid of who the fuck you're about to become. I'll let that shit sink in for a second. That's covering all bases. That's covering all bases to help you to weaponize your weaknesses. Covering all bases of the past, of the present, of the future. You can't change the past. You can't do shit about the future. All you can do is deal with the present. But the problem is people get so caught up in the past and the future that they fuck everything up. The way to weaponize your weakness is to embrace all of it. The known of the past, the unknown of the future, and the fucking right now of the present, the happening, the today, the reality of the present. And embracing all that and jumbling it all fucking together and still marching forward towards the gunfire while everyone else is running away from the gunfire. That's how you weaponize your weakness. It starts with this mentality. And I'm going to repeat that again. And I'm going to use my word of the fucking year. And I'm going to slow down here for a second because I get fired up about this shit. Don't be ashamed of who the fuck you were. That's the past. Don't be sorry for who the fuck you are right now. That's the present. And don't be afraid of who the fuck you're about to become. That's the future. We're covering all three bases. And when you can embrace all those and accept all those, 
is how you can weaponize your weaknesses and how you can turn suffering into superpower, how you can turn obstacles into opportunities. Let this shit drill into your brain. Let this become your new operating system so you have a, only a good day every day. You don't have, there's no bad days. And every day just gets fucking better than the next. Today is better than it was yesterday, but it's not good enough tomorrow. And tomorrow will be better than today, but not good enough for two days from now. This is the operating system you need to fucking download into your damn brain so that you can weaponize those weaknesses. And this is how we roll on Steve Says. It's straightforward. It's dirty. It's a, just a, a, a gut punch. And sometimes the shit we say might sting a little bit, and I'm okay with that. That's why I say, some people will hate, but most can relate. And also why I say that it's not what you want to hear. It's what you fucking need to hear. Don't be ashamed of who the fuck you were. Don't be sorry for who the fuck you are. And don't be afraid of who the fuck you're about to become. So let's start with don't be ashamed of who the fuck you were. Listen, I was a, the poorest kid in the, in the class, the poorest kid in school. I, I started the whole hip-hop clothing of wearing the baggy clothes because I was wearing some old, dirty-ass clothes of my brother who's 10 years older than me. That's where it started from. I was the poorest kid in, in, in school. Poorest family on the block. I was a fucking ghost. Got no attention. The youngest of six kids. That's just the way it is. I had zero friends. I was invited to zero birthday parties. I went to zero football games in high school. Zero proms. Zero conversations with other freaking human beings. Zero existence. And listen, I've done some bad, some crazy, some psychotic, some immoral things in my life. I've been arrested multiple times. I've been to jail several times. I've almost been killed several times. But you know what? Don't be ashamed of who the fuck you were. Don't be ashamed of your past. It's what forged you into who you are today. It's what created what is standing right there in front of you. I wouldn't change a fucking drop of it. People tell me, ask, and I even did a post about it just for the thought process of it, of what would you tell your 19-year-old self? Or what would you tell your 15-year-old self? Or what would you tell your 20-year-old self, your 30-year-old self? I wouldn't tell them a fucking thing. I wouldn't tell them shit. Because I would have screwed up that whole evolutionary process that led me to this fucking moment right here talking to you. I wouldn't tell him shit. I would have robbed him. I would have robbed that fucking scumbag back then at 19 years old. I would have robbed him of all the suffering and sacrifices and fuck-ups and failures and mistakes and shit and kicks in the nuts that he had. That forwards the, the mental toughness and the discipline and the energy and the confidence and the action taking and the freak motherfucker that you're looking at right now. Wouldn't tell him a damn thing. Although I did do a post one time that's something like the 21 things I would tell my 21 year old self or something like that. It's just to say about lessons learned along the way, but I wouldn't tell him any of that shit. I wouldn't tell him any of that shit because I'd be robbing him. I'd be stealing from him. I'd be doing him a disservice, disservice by giving him those cheat codes. Wouldn't do it. Wouldn't do it. As long as you don't let that past affect you in the present day and the boo fucking who poor little me and all this other stuff because listen you're an adult now you're an adult now you can't keep blaming your your rough childhood on on how you are and how you act now as a fucking grown-up you're damn 30 years old 40 years old 50 years old still boo fucking who poor little me when i was a little child like get over it get the fuck over it stop being a little bitch stop making excuses for you being lazy and miserable and unfulfilled, and unhappy, or not successful, or not making enough money as, as you want to be. Stop making those excuses. It's not your fucking parents' fault anymore. So quit that bullshit. Quit those bullshit stories and excuses you tell yourself in your head to justify being fucking lazy and not playing all out. Not playing, going all in. Go all out. Go all in. Stand up. Stand tall. Stand the fuck out. If you don't, it's your fault. You're a fucking adult. And if you continue to let the bullshit from decades ago still affect you currently, that's your own damn fault. Quit the bullshit. Quit the damn excuses. It's right there. No excuses, motherfucker. Get your shit together. Weaponize your weaknesses. And that's what that and what I'm just going through here is part of the eight mile theory. The eight mile theory is if you ever saw the movie Eight Mile with Eminem, when he goes into that final rap battle at the end and, and they get to choose who goes first. And, you know, the, the rap battle is all about you know, talking shit and, and disrespecting the other dude that you're, you're, you're battling against. And, and Eminem chooses to go first. And all he does 
It talks about all the shit about himself and his life and his shitty childhood and his mother and his girlfriend and all this, that they, that they jumped him and they gangbanged his girlfriend and his mother was a crackhead and all this other stuff. He just goes on and on about it. He embraced it. He accepted it. It's what got him onto that motherfucking stage and probably helped him build those skills in the time he spent alone and all fucking depressed and it probably gave all him all that creativity. Like that suffering was his superpower that got him to that moment. So he put it all out on the line. All right, motherfucker. I just told you everything. What, what could you possibly say? And the other dude shut down, had nothing left to do. He basically stole, reverse engineered and stole all the other dude's material. That is an eight mile theory. Listen, if I put it all out here on the line, listen, this is me. This is my past. This is what I've done. This is where I've been. This is the fucked up shit I did. These are my failures, my fuck ups, my mistakes. What could you possibly do or say to me that's going to chop me down or break me down? I've already put it out there on the table. I've already put it out there on the table and I'm fucking, and I'm not ashamed, but fucking proud of it because that's what made me who I am today. That's what helped me get and forge and build the stepping stones to get up to where I am today. Taking those stumbling blocks and turn them into stepping stones. That's the eight mile theory. That's weaponizing your weaknesses. And listen, if you have kids now or you have other people watching you, soaking up your habits, soaking up your tendencies, all eyes on you at the way you're operating, you damn well better start breaking those fucking cycles. Breaking the damn cycle. That's what we talk about. And you know, we have the show on Wednesdays. I have it with the two little free kids. We have a live show tomorrow at 3.30 p.m. Pacific time, breaking the cycle. That's what it's all about. And let's talk about the present. The present is breaking the cycle. Don't be sorry for who the fuck you are. Again, plant your freak flag in the ground. Let that motherfucker wave banner high in the sky. Don't be ashamed of where you were. Don't be sorry for who the fuck it turned you into. As long as you're not a douchebag, a scumbag, doing, you know, as long as you're living according to the core values that humans should be. The present, the not being sorry for who the fuck you are, that is breaking the cycle. Break the cycle. That is what goes on here in the present. Break the damn cycle. That's why you don't have to be ashamed of the past or sorry for the right now because you broke the motherfucking cycle. You've been forged by that pain and that adversity. You've learned from right from wrong. You've learned right because you've experienced wrong. That's how you learned it. You flipped the fucking switch is what you did. You rewrote the damn chapter is what you did. It's made you a, a contributing force in your world, making an impact, a positive freaking impact. Fuck no, you shouldn't be sorry for who the fuck you are right now or ashamed of who you were. If you're making a, a, a you're making contributions to the freaking world. Making this rock we're spinning on a better damn place. Making a positive impact. Stamping your freak freedom into the ground. And helping people along the way as you're skyrocketing to success and happiness and fulfillment. Fuck no, you shouldn't be sorry for who the fuck you are right now. Hell no. Be real. Be yourself. Be proud. Be a fucking freak. That is freak freedom. That is not being sorry for who the hell you are. And then let's talk about the future. Don't be afraid of who you're about to become. The more you let your little boo-hoo, poor little me, I had a bad childhood, little victim past, victim mindset, you're going to become that in the future if you don't learn to break that cycle from the past. You will become, you take those as lessons, again, as stepping stones. You'll become that fierce force that you're fucking destined to become, that you want to become, that you've always, that you're your, your higher calling, that the universe is fucking begging out of you, begging you to finally extract the fucking beast from yourself, the greatness from yourself. That's what it's all about. Use your pain and your struggle and your suffering as a superpower. Weaponize your weakness. The eight mile theory. Suffering to superpower. It will make you unbreakable. It will make you unstoppable. It'll make you fucking penetrable. It'll make you bulletproof. It'll make you successful. It'll make you fulfilled. It'll make you make an impact. It'll make you make more motherfucking income. And it'll make you freaking happy. Yeah, this is one happy motherfucker, believe it or not. Your past will become your armor from the bullshit and the harshness of life that gets thrown at you right now. You're built for this shit. You've been there before. Oh, that's it? Oh, again? Oh, I'm getting screwed over again? Someone's trying to stab me in the back again? Oh, psh, another day at the motherfucking office. 
Your mind and existence will become impregnable. I learned that word from Mike Tyson. He said his defense was impregnable or some shit like that. I think right after he then he said he was going to eat someone's kids or some shit. Some weird shit he said in an interview. But anyway, you'll become impenetrable from the negative assholes, the naysayers, the doubters, the haters, the fakes, the, the fake ass stands around you. Who picked up on that one? Huh? Who picked up on that one? So turn the suffering to superpower. Embrace the freaking hardship. Weaponize your weakness. Don't be ashamed of who the fuck you were. Don't be sorry for who the fuck you are. And don't be afraid of who the fuck you're about to become. That's it. Quick down and dirty. Steve says, I will talk to you next time in case no one told you yet today. You're fucking awesome. No excuses.